Hello there folks and welcome back to the woods. Um, I'm really excited about this trip. This was one of the trips where a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago I was meant to be coming out and staying in the backwoods bungalow uh, but due to storms etc I ended up having to cancel the actual trip and uh, ended up having to hide in the van uh, <laughs> to try and avoid all the thunder and lightning. So I'm getting out tonight and really looking forward to it. So I've actually got the One Tigress Backwoods bungalow with me today uh, so we're going to be setting that up. But I've got one thing I want to do beforehand. Um, I've noticed a couple of markings in the actual ground round camp over the last wee while, uh, which I'm going to take you over and actually show you just now. And basically it was a case of I was trying to figure out what it was, whether it was deer or whether it was boar. I've had a few people now mention the fact that they've actually seen boar in the woodland. Um, so I haven't actually seen the boar, which will sort of change aspects a little bit. Uh, I've not actually seen one in real life, in all honesty. Um, so I actually set up a trail camera, what, two nights ago I think it was, uh, to try and see if I can get some footage of any form of animals, whether it was deer or whether it was the boar. Um, so what I want to do to start with, I'll take you over, show you the couple of the markings that are there, and then we'll go and check the trail camera and see if we've got any footage. So there's the first bit, and not sure if I've shown you already, it might have done, but it just seems very straight at the top, which I was surprised at. Now normally, I mean this is beside a tree, uh, so there's been plenty of times when I've actually seen them sort of scrape at the bottom of an actual tree. But it just seems a bit odd. So there's the next bit. Same thing. Obviously whatever it is has just been sort of scraping at the ground. So I've set up a trail camera. With quite a good view. Of the actual woods itself. So it'd be awesome if I've got some footage, um, whether it be boar or deer. I personally think it's deer, but we'll wait and see. Uh, but I'll take it back over to the actual camp itself and we'll just sort of sit down and have a little look through the actual footage. And basically what I will be doing is um, any footage I do have, I'll pop it up onto the actual uh, video itself. Uh, but let's just take it back just now. So it looks as if I have got some footage. which is well smart and it is deer as opposed to boar thankfully Really pleased to see that. That is just absolutely brilliant. I just love seeing wildlife just in its natural, natural environment just sort of wandering around. Now there's 22 clips, 22 video clips uh, that have been triggered. So hopefully there's some other footage there as well. And what I'll do is basically I'll edit that into the actual video so you'll be able to sort of see anything that I've actually got there. Um, but it does look like more just deer than boar 
thank God. Um, which does sort of raise the, the point about the vegetable garden um, and the fact that I've put the gates and fences around it just to sort of protect it from the deer because there is obviously deer in the woodland. Uh, so I have been very, very surprised that I haven't had any damage to the uh, vegetables or alternatively the gates, etc. Um, so really exciting. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start getting the One Tigers Backwoods Bungalow set up. Um, I do tend to find it's a little bit pernickety, so I do tend to find I take a long time with it <laughs> just to make sure it's all sort of perfect and comfortable. Uh, so I'm going to get cracking with that just now. one tigerous bungalow before but i'm going to show you again because uh, i absolutely love this shelter i really really do um a lot of it's got to do with the awning you know just sort of being able to put that out when you're sort of sat there if it is raining or anything it's giving you that coverage but you've still got the opportunity to actually see outside but again that's what i'm sort of talking about i've just got it with the actual sticks but you can easily just use walking poles And then again, the vent across the back, you can have that open or close, but I've got it open for tonight. And then I've just got the netting up, and then you've got your interior light. But wait, see this for a view. You know, so that's why I love it so much. Just look at that for a view. Just brilliant.
Uh, so really nice. Again, I'm just going to sort of chill out. I've got no plans for the afternoon. Um, so it is literally more just a case of getting out into the woods and having a wee bit of an overnighter. Uh, what I am going to do just now though is I'm going to go and have a little wander around, try and see if I can actually find some wild edibles, um, some raspberries and things like that. Strawberries are actually almost ready. Uh, so there's probably about six or seven of them that are actually getting there. Um, so whether I take any of them tonight or not, I don't know, for my pudding. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but I've got a really nice dinner planned, so I'll hopefully get that sort of organised reasonably soon as well. Um, and then we'll take it from there. Very conscious of the where I'm going to put the fire. Uh, so I've actually got the uh, Wild, Camping, Wild Camping International uh, stove and the plan of attack is I'm just going to put it on a piece of wood uh, out the actual front. I don't want to have it too close to the actual shelter. Last time I did that, I ended up with sparks actually going on the actual shelter and burning holes in it. Uh, so I don't want to do that again. Um, so I said, just going to have a little chill out just now and then get some food prepped, uh, organised and we'll take it from there. See you in a wee bit. Yeah, so I was just sort of thinking if I put the fire here and then that'll be far enough away from the actual shelter so I don't get um, sort of sparks all over it. So just pop the fire there, far enough away from the shelter, but also tonight it will give me some ambient light into the actual shelter as well. Sorted. Should do, mate. So I'm going for a stir fry tonight. So really looking forward to it.
Wow, that looks amazing. Well, what can I say? First bit of the night. Oh my God, that's so good. Wow. So I've actually been doing this meal uh, quite a lot in some of my van trips uh, that have been going on. Absolutely love it. Really, really nice. Wow. Cheers. I'm just going to finish this and then I'll hook up with you. Well, what can I say? That's been a thoroughly relaxing evening. Really, really, really nice. Just sat there listening to music, sort of chilling out. Uh, so I've got the puffer jacket on just now though, really cold. Um, so sun's going down, it's starting to get quite dark in the woods itself. The wind also seems to have disappeared, which has meant the midges have come out. Uh, so I'm actually going to retire to the actual uh, shelter. I'm going to put the actual midge net down uh, and sort of chill out for a wee bit more. But what I want to do is I will hook up with you again once it actually gets dark. Um, and then it'll be a case of get the um, sort of fire going and also the uko light going. I just love ambient light. Um, like that, but I'm going to try and protect myself from the midges as best as I possibly can, the evil little things that they are. Okay, so I'll catch up with you in a wee bit. Well, I have to say, I just love the actual fire. Um, just having an actual proper fire going, it's really, really nice. But I just don't want to take it too close to the actual shelter itself. Uh, but I've also got the some blessed bivy light uh, there as well, which is just perfect for this type of shelter. So really, really smart. It's just so bright, just the actual brightness that it brings into the actual shelter. So unfortunately I'm working tomorrow, um, so it is going to be a case of up early in the morning, quick coffee and then head back off out the woods. Um, so I'm going to get myself an early night just now and uh, see if I can get some rest. Uh, could be quite windy tonight, um, which will probably be quite good to sort of stop the midges, but it might be quite noisy. Um, so we'll see how we go. But bad in any incident, I'll see you all in the morning.
Well, what can I say? I've woken up to an absolute belter of a morning. Really, really nice. I'll turn the camera around just so you can see it. <clears throat> Look at that. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. So as I said, I'm gonna to have to skip the coffee uh, and just sort of get the camp taken down and get back home just for work, unfortunately. But that's been a thoroughly enjoyable trip. Thoroughly enjoyable trip. I just love an overnighter, but I slept so well last night. It was just unbelievable. Uh, so I think I needed it. Sometimes just in the woods, I really, really do. Now, no animals last night. So from the point of view of the actual deer, uh, where the trail camera was actually set up was only like 20 yards away and um, there's camp just there so you can see that the the deer themselves they are in this particular bit of woodland and um, so it was quite interesting just to sort of see last night whether there was any noise or not but certainly there wasn't anything okay i'm just gonna get camp taken down just now get packed up and I'll catch up with you just before I head off. Okay, so that's me all packed, ready to go. And again, sort of leave no trace as best I can, apart from a bit of flat ground. But I have to say, that has just been so epic. It was so, so nice, just so relaxing and chilling. Uh, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. Um, but thanks very, very much for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure. Take care, bye-bye.